Hey there guys, today I'll be disassembling a cochlear implant and I'll be showing you what each of the parts do, kind of, sort of. Uh, I won't be able to tell you exactly what they do because I'm just not a professional, but I'll tell you what I know. Okay, so let's go ahead and start taking it apart. Let's take the coil off first. This is the coil right here. Take that out, just like that. Okay, so this is what the coil looks like off of the ear, the implant itself. Okay, the magnet we can take off or out, just like that. So I'll go ahead and put that here, put the magnet here. Okay, so now there's no way for me to actually hear out of this because the coil has to be on this in order for me to like be able to hear it because it attaches it to my head. Okay, this is the battery. If the battery's dead, the thing won't work. So, um, it's important to have this on there, otherwise there's no power. You can't get any of the power for it to work. Just like, kind of like anything else needs, needs a battery. Um, okay, and then this thing right here just kind of attaches the attachable thing, this thing, onto the implant so it doesn't fall off. This helps the implant from falling off my ear. So I can just take it off just like that. Alright, I can put that, mm, let's put that right there. Okay, and then this is where all the information is. So the volume is here, and the different inputs you want to use are on there too. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and put it back together. I've already shown you how you take it apart, this is how you put it back together. Alright, so let's go ahead and start by putting the hooky thing on because it's just probably the easiest way to go. Alright, so we just hook it on just like that. Okay. And then we need to hook this over it so it doesn't fall off. Otherwise it'll fall off pretty easily. Um, so you just slide it on just like that. And once you get to this part, you got to stretch it out a little and put it on top of that. Right over that just like that okay and then now we're gonna have to put the magnet back into the coil and you do that by just twisting it in just like I took it out okay so you don't want it too tight though because it can um, irritate my ear or my head not my ear um, so if it's too loose though it'll fall off if it's too tight it'll irritate so you want it right in between okay so now you just took that on just like you did before just like that oops not just like that my bad I got I'm looking through the the camera and that's not really working for me okay so now lastly you put the battery back in and that turns it on so wait for the thing to flash this little light right here will flash to tell you that it turned on. So, okay, twist it back on. Oops, twisted it too hard. Okay. So that green light that you saw before, um, that tells that signals that it's on, or that it turned on, and then the yellow one just is continuing to tell you that it turned on, that it's, that it's on. So anyway, that's what a cochlear implant looks like disassembled and put back together. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, have a great day. Bye.